Hey guys, Lucky HD here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be going over the new pity system inside of Lumion Legacy that can actually guarantee that you will get a gleaming Lumion from your boost. If you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you got another like, subscribe, and let's just straight into the video. All right, so you guys have probably seen the entire thing on Twitter, of course, with Lando and T-Brad, I'm putting it out there, basically talking about how it works and the entire community, of course, erupting into flames. It's, I'm gonna, you know, say my opinions on it real quick. It's not that bad, okay? It is actually a pretty cool system. Basically, it is more or less for the people who are free to play, right? You know, you, you don't spend a lot of money on Lumion Legacy. It just kind of ensures that you're not gonna realistically have any bad luck when playing the game, right? So, how does this entire thing work? Well, let's go over it. Alright, so to locate this new system, go up to your Lumi Boost tab right here, click on it, and then you're gonna see this right here, okay? Gleaming Pity and Roaming Pity. Now, there is gonna be a lot of stuff in this video that we're gonna be talking about that is very much, like, reading-based, and there's just a lot of things that I have to explain, so... If you're gonna wanna, you know, understand how this works, just, you have to sit through it, okay? So, the Gleaming Pity, whenever you hover over it, it says, Gleaming Pity Counter. While your Gleaming Lumi Boost is running, and the Gleaming Pity Switch is activated, your standard wild Lumi Counters will be counted. When the counter hits zero, you are guaranteed to encounter a Gleaming Lumion. Encountering a Gleaming Lumion will reset your Gleaming Pity Counter. With the Gleaming Charm, the Gleaming Pity Counter counts down from 128. Without the Gleaming Charm, the Gleaming Pity Counter counts down from 250. Six. Only one pity counter switch may be activated at a time. And it basically says the exact same thing right here, of course, with roaming. Uh, you know, if you do the same thing with a roaming, you encounter a roaming, it basically resets it, but it does not reset it if it is a corrupted Lumion, okay? That is something important to note. Alright, so once you turn the Gleaming Pity on, you are going to see that it says your Gleaming Lumi Boost is not running, and counters will not count toward a Pity. So guys, you actually need to have the Gleaming Boost on in order for this thing to work. So I'm going to put it right here, we're going to put 15 minutes of boost on, and as you guys can see, it started to turn green. Now, once we actually go over here into the encounter thing, it's going to start counting down from every single time that we find a Lumion, right? So, as you guys can see right here, there's a calf note. We exit out of the battle, right? And then now, it says 125 at the bottom. So, it actually starts to count it at your actual Lumi Boost down at the bottom, right? Which is very, very helpful. And, of course, you can also check it inside a Lumi Boost thing as well. As you can see, it turned from 126 to 125. Now, how this works is basically if you do not find a Gleaming Lumion within 125 encounters, it will automatically automatically give you a gleaming lumion and you might be like well lucky hd this is extremely overpowered you know this is just giving out free lumions and stuff like no it's not so basically how this also works is that if you find a gleaming lumion before the counter hits zero it is going to reset the counter all the way back to 128 or to, what well, you know like 256 so if i go over here you know it's 125 if i encounter a gleaming right now it is going to reset it all the way back to 128 so what all this means is that if i just keep doing encounters over and over and over again until the counter hits zero okay so every single time that i'm doing an encounter it is lowering this little like number at the bottom right down and if, if it reaches zero before you find a gleaming lumion the game is going to give you a gleaming lumion for free this also however works with gammas so it is going to be a one in five chance i believe this could be wrong but i'm pretty sure it's right a one in five chance for you to actually get a gamma whenever the counter hits zero now look hd a one in five chance to get a gamma that's absurd right that's extremely easy no it's not so think about it like this okay on average, to get a Gamma, you're going to be doing around 1, and it's a 1 in 640 chance, right? So that means 1 out of every 640 encounters, you're going to possibly see a Gamma. It's kind of the same thing like this, right? 125 times 5 is literally 625, okay? So what that means is you have a 1 in 625 chance to find a Gamma. Oh my gosh, the Gamma chance went down by 15 encounters. It's the end of the world. It's not really the end of the world, guys. It's literally just making it so that bad luck inside of Lumion Legacy is kind of eliminated, right? That's what Lando said in his tweet that basically this entire update is to kind of get rid of that bad luck and also to... I mean, basically encourage people to not really give up, you know, you spend all this money on the game, you spend all this money on boost tokens and stuff like that, and you don't get a Lumi, you don't get a Gleaming Lumion, and you're sad, you know, nobody's happy. 
but with this it at least guarantees that if you do 128 or 256 encounters within that time span of how much boost you have that you will be getting a gleaming lumion so lucky hd from the future here um basically there was something else that i had to mention this does not affect soft resettable lumians like of course mutagon cephalops uh, all of the event ones you know coppling Tariti. the gleaming pity counter will not show for them okay so don't go wasting your boosts and stuff trying to look for that and expect the pity counter to work anyways back to the video so guys, this also does work for gleaming roamings and the gamma roamings as well. Basically, whenever you get the 120 encounters all the way down to zero, you have a 1 in 125 chance of finding a gleaming roaming and a 1 in 625 chance of finding a gamma roaming. It is the same odds as a regular gleaming roaming and a regular gamma roaming, so don't even try going out here saying, oh my gosh, the, the values are ruined, everybody. The, the values are all gone. Yeah, no, the values are perfectly fine, guys. And yeah, that about does it for the entire pity system. I definitely want to hear you guys' thoughts about it down in the comments below. I think it's a pretty cool way to, you know, at least kind of reward free-to-play players for actually spending time, you know, hunting on the game and stuff like that, putting those boost tokens to use. And yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you go to the like, subscribe. Also, let me know your thoughts about this entire thing, again, down in the comments below. And if you have any, you know, trouble or questions, put it down in the comments below as well, and hopefully some people that watch this video could answer it. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.